Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to learn how to run specific tests. There are times when we need to run only a specific set of tests and not the entire bunch. This is especially useful for developers when they are working on large applications where there are a lot of test cases. So if you have close to 500, 600 test cases, it will take good amount of 20, 25 minutes to run the entire test suite. That's not practical to wait every time you want to test your test cases, right? That's where we will learn how to run only specific test cases. Welcome back. My name is Sridhar. I bring over 10 years of experience to share my knowledge with you all. I'm also here to learn from you all. So during the course of this tutorial series, if you have any questions, any doubts, just ask me in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in bringing these tutorials for you. So I'll really appreciate if you can support me by subscribing and liking my videos. Thank you in advance. This is part of the Angular 9 full tutorial playlist where we have now more than 70 tutorials with detailed code examples and examples and explanations. If you really want to learn and master Angular 9, this is the playlist for you. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. So we are learning about the mini series and testing about how to run specific tests in this tutorial. But if you really want to learn how to skip test, how to run unit test, how to do E2E -E test, please make sure you have checked out the previous episodes. Let's get started now. I'm going to show you how to run specific tests. So Angular has support uh, via Jasmine framework. Like how do you how do you have to skip or how do you want to run specific test? Now this is really helpful and useful when you're trying to debug a failing test case, right? Or for example, let's say my application size has grown big and now there are around 500, 600 total test cases that are there. Every time it's not practical, it's not feasible for you to make sure that you run all the tests all the time, especially when you're developing. You want to run only few unit tests to make sure that your use cases are working and they're working fine. It saves a lot of time and as it will run only the required files, required tests and not all the test suites. We'll see how to do that now. So there are two ways to do it. One, we can specify and run specific unit test. The second, we can specify which end-to-end -end test case to run. So the, using these two, we can always play a combination and tell which test to run in specific or also called as focus test. So to run focus test, we will have to add F in front of the test that like, for example, F describe and FIT. In the previous episode, we have learned to skip the test using XIT and XDescribe. So when you add FDescribe, it will it will only it will it means that this is now focused test case and it will only run those test cases. We'll see that now. Also, if you want to run a specific end-to-end -end test files, we can mention that in our protractor.conf.js file. So this way we can only run only what the files which we need or whichever end-to-end -end ones which we want to execute. Let's see how to do that. All right, so let me quickly make some notes also for you. Angular testing, running focused tests or specific tests, right? You can call anything. All right, so First, we will learn how to use, how to run specific unit tests, right? So for unit test, we know that there is a describe statement to describe the test case, and there are multiple assertions using it statements, right? So to, to run only specific or focused unit test, we will have to add FIT in front of IT, right? Now let's see that first. Now I'm going to go to, let's say, let's first run our test and see and take one uh, use case of how you would go about practically fixing issues in your real-time applications. 
it will take a minute please bear with me while it is doing it make sure you have subscribed to my channel and give a thumbs up to this video by liking it all right so our code is running we got an automated suite which is running now it will give us the report okay once it is done we'll get a fail and pass report righty okay so you see now we have a failing test case in sign in component right we have a failure in contacts component right and as a developer i am working on let's say contacts component which is failing right so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to contacts component right i know that this is the one which is failing so i'm going to add f i t instead of i it was it it was it now i made it f i t that means now it will only run this particular test case right now let's see that so you see it ran only one test case it has skipped all other things you see that it says ran one of 31 that means it is running only one because i have added f it here if i remove it and make it it and now save it it will run all 31 let's see that also first so this is the best way that you want to debug you want to fix your testing test cases failing test cases you need to identify which is the one you want to work add fit in front of it so it executes only one that way your time is saved now you see it is executing all 31 and it is going to give us it is taking long time in building in executing so all this time is saved we have only 31 so it's taking long time imagine if you have 500 600 test cases it's going to take a um, extraordinary long time so I'm going to cut this here and run it again just to show you now I have made it it again that means it will now run all 31 test cases so this is what I'm talking about that it will save time when you run only focus test that means you are executing and working only on one test case all right so now it will run 31 which is again will take time it's lengthy tedious process as a developer I am working on one component I want to make sure only that component I am debugging spending time on fixing only that right so now see you see it executed 31 and it gives all the report I don't want that I want only one so I'll add FIT so now we'll see that it will execute only one test case right so it skipped all it executed only one which is contacts component which is what we are working on right now let's say this has multiple use cases like this right now it has let's say multiple test cases like this so i will say execute only this suite so I, i'll add f describe right so when you want to when you have multiple test cases of a spec we will use or rather we can use we can use f in describe describe to execute only that suite of test scripts right so since we added f describe to contacts component it has two test cases it will execute only two which you see here right let's see the report it says contacts component contacts component right so it is running only two because it will only run this f describe so it will run both of them which is there inside this particular uh, descript, this, this script basically and these are the assertions that we are doing so this is how we can skip this is how we can use using unit test you can do it for a individual test spec script or you can do it for a suite of test case or a group of test cases that you want to club together this was for unit testing now let's talk about now let's see the let's see how to fix the end-to-end -end test cases 
right? Now let's say I have again 500, 600 end-to-end -end test scripts, right? It's painful to execute each one every time. That's when what we will do, we will go to E2E, we'll go to contractor.conf.js and you see here, line number 13, it says specs. So here, now currently it says, execute anything that has asterisk dot E2E spec dot TS. So it will execute everything that is there in this. But if I'm saying, have execute only one file. So I'll give the name of the file. You can pass multiple file names like this, right? So here what you're saying, execute only these files. And when you, but when you put asterisk, it means execute everything that is there, right? So if you have 500, 600 files that you want to change, you want to edit, it becomes really, really tedious to manage, right? That's where we will just use and configure what is available to us. Right? I hope it is making sense to you. I hope you are following up how to uh, how to get it done. So let me just open that editor once again for you. Okay, this is not the one. Uh, okay, let me let me find that out. Uh, Twenty-seven. Okay. All right. So in the protractor dot con dot js under under specs array we will pass the list of end to end test specs that we want to execute only so that way we save time effort and above all, it leads to being efficient in debugging, right? So that's the biggest advantage of skipping or running specific tests that you save time basically and you become more efficient and productive. So for unit test, we'll add FIT for, or to skip multiple, we'll use FDescribe. For end-to-end -end test cases, we will go to protractor.conf and we can mention the specs that you want to run here. It will only run those. All right. I hope this is clear to you. I hope you have enjoyed this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to generate code coverage for your applications test, testing scripts that you have written. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next episode. Happy learning.